So Chris, for any pr pr promoter, getting the opponent over from overseas is, is the first hurdle. You must be breathing a sigh of relief, really. Yeah, definitely. And uh, you know, I'm very excited. You know, it first started when I was in Los Angeles. I, I met with these Mexicans uh, in uh, the Rock Gym in L.A., I um, started chatting to them and said, look, you know, we're looking for something exciting for Haskins' ne next fight. Um, you know, would, would they be able to supply a Mexican? And I expect they thought, oh, this is just someone saying, yeah. And then uh, within a month, I'd contacted them. I said, look, we've got, you know, we've got a date for a fight. You know, can you supply? And uh, they gave us a list of names and, uh, and I, I picked out Willie. I thought he was the best opponent, good record, tough guy. And, and that's exactly what we needed. And, and uh, yesterday we went and picked him up at the airport last night. And, uh, you know, because I was just, uh, you know, curious and uh, welcome, you know, welcome in. And these are what, like days in, in your life that you remember for the rest of your life. You know, we brought this Mexican over, you know, and, and it touched me when Ricky said it's the first time he'd been out of Mexico. And, you know, I thought, oh, like, you know, we've done that. And then, uh, we, you know, uh, we, 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 we brought him down. I took him past um, Clifton Suspension Bridge and I got Ricky to interpret that, you know, when it was built and that, you know, how many people died building it. And uh, then we went past the SS Great Britain and I, and I told him what a great city that we have here in Bristol. And, and this is what we want, you know, international sport here. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, there's always a danger though. If, if this guy beats Haskins, the dream's over, isn't it? Well, that's it. But then, you know, that, that's what we're here for, you know, and that's what we want everybody that, that turns up on uh, Friday night to, to think, is he going to win or is he going to lose, you know? And this is it. And this is a, you know, may, maybe a 50-50 fight. OK, home advantage may swing it for Haskins, but ability-wise, I, I would say it's 50-50. And that's what Lee needs. He needs this challenge if he's going to challenge it, you know, at this level. And as you said in the press conference, 2015 world title fight if he comes through these next two, yeah? Yeah, and that's what we're hoping. And, and you know, we've just been very unfortunate, the fact that we haven't had a, a, a big venue and we haven't had that big, massive support that we could get for, for Haskins or our, our other boxers in the past because we haven't had a venue. OK, well, let's hope uh, he uh, fills the City Academy and gets the right result for you. That's it. That's what we, we need a, a lot of support. You know, uh, Lee Haskins is the most successful sports person in, in Bristol for the past three or four years, you know, and, and he deserves that support.